Welcome to the Alarm Lock YouTube channel. In this session, I want to discuss how to program a remote release, a wireless remote release, to a network clock. Now, there's two steps that you need to take when you are uh, programming a wireless remote release to a network clock. One of the steps is to actually set it up in the software and then program the lock. And the second step is to actually add the wireless remote uh, to the lock at the keypad. So to set it up in the software, you click on the lock profile that you want the remote to be added to, and then you click on features. In the features, uh, you will click on the remote tab. And then in here, you have two options that you can use with the wireless remote release. And that is the momentary, remote release momentary, and the remote toggles passage. So if you want the remote to actually unlock the door uh, for your uh, amount of pass time and then lock the door back, kind of like buzz somebody in, then you would choose remote release. So you would click on that radio button. If you want the remote to toggle passage mode, which means when you hit the button once, if the door is locked, then it will put it into a uh, permanent unlocked mode. Then you hit the button again, and it will take the lock out of that permanent unlock mode. So in this case, I'm going to uh, leave it as remote release. Now I'm going to click close, and then I will go under communication. I will communicate with that selected network's lock. And then since I only changed the features, I only need to send the features. But you can send and receive everything if you're doing other things. I'm just going to send to the features and then click start. And now that um, lock will be programmed with those features of the remote momentary release. Now the second half of adding a wireless remote release to a network's lock is to actually take and add the or pair the wireless remote, uh, which this is a single button wireless remote, to the lock itself. Now to do that you enter the master code and then hit the AL key that puts the lock into program mode and now you're going to hit AL 65 AL 1 and star and then you take the, the remote and you push the button on the remote until it goes flashing green once it goes flashing green, the remote is paired. Now the number one that I pushed indicates that that's the first remote. You can put up to 10. So I'm going to take it out of program mode. And now the remote is paired with the lock. So if I push the remote, the light goes solid, the green, and the lock opens. I want to thank you for uh, watching this video. Um, I hope it was informative and um, you were able to learn something about how to program the uh, Trilogy Locks. If you'd like to learn more about Alarm Lock, you can go to alarmlock.com and click on the Resources tab and there's a link there so you can download programming manuals. You can watch uh, recorded webinars. You can attend a live webinar. Uh, you can also sign up for my uh, training blog, my technical blog. Uh, if you sign up for it, then anytime I make a post, it will go directly to your inbox. And we'll make uh, posts about new, vi new videos, new software, uh, new products, uh, basically anything alarm lock. If there's something that you would like to learn how to do, uh, a topic on the uh, Trilogy Locks or the software, you can send me a, uh, an email at aphelps at alarmlock.com. That's A-P-H-E-L-P-S at alarmlock.com, and I'll do my best to get that video uh, out and post it on this site. Uh, 